Welcome. So we're going to look at a couple of ways to tie the jiu-jitsu belt. So before we do that, we're just going to make sure that we've got our gi pants tied nice and tight too. So just like tying a shoelace, we're going to make sure that the gi drawstrings are nice and tight. So I'm going to make a knot. Then I'm going to make a loop and fold the other drawstring over the top and make a bow, just like tying the shoelace. And I'm going to pull it so it's nice and tight. That way my trousers aren't going to fall down when I'm rolling. So let's look at the first way to tie your jiu-jitsu belt. So first of all, you're going to make sure that your lapels are crossed on the right side. You want the lapel with a little kimono label showing at the front. So the first and easiest way to tie your belt is to hold outstretched your belt in your one hand. Make sure it's in the middle and that your belt is even on both sides. And again, make sure your lapels now are really tight, like so. So I'm gonna hold the middle of my belt in front of my waist, and I'm gonna loop it around the back of my gi, and I'm gonna make a cross right in the middle of my back. I try and make sure that both sides are even, and I'm gonna cross my belt just like so in front of my waist. I'm gonna feed the top part of the belt up and underneath both belts. So then you're gonna loop this top part of the belt and turn it inside out. So I've just looped it and turned it inside out and I'm gonna place it on top of the other part of my belt right in front of me and hold with one hand. Then you're gonna bring this bottom part of the belt up and inside and pull nice and tight. And that's the quickest, simplest, easiest way to tie your jiu-jitsu gi. Okay, so this second variation on how to tie your jiu-jitsu belt, which is a little bit tighter. So again, I'm gonna make sure that both lapels are nice and tight. And I'm gonna bring one end of my belt on one side of my hip and place it and hold it with one hand on one side of my hip. I'm then gonna loop the belt all the way around my back. And I'm gonna go once and twice adjust the belt so that it's equal on both sides and pull nice and tight and hold in the middle. Okay, just like the first variation, I'm gonna take the top part of my belt, loop it up and un underneath both sides of the belt, pull nice and tight. And just like before, I'm gonna rotate that top part of the belt, place it on top of the bottom part of the belt, and then I'm gonna loop this inside. Now to make this even tighter, you want to feed that top part of the belt in between both sides of the bottom part of the belt. And then pull nice and tight. And that should give you a nice strong belt so that it doesn't fall down when you're rolling. <laughs> 